Welcome back to it, guys. And it's time to reset. The annual financial and accounting conference is on. And we are getting ready to talk to Marissa Kwashi, the vice chair for members and students of the committee of ICATT, to tell us all about it. Marissa, good morning and welcome. Good morning. Thanks for having me here today. Well, we want to know exactly what we're resetting because when we talk finances, resetting is kind of <laughs> questionable. <laughs> What's this all well, about? Um, we're resetting lessons learned from the pandemic. So mm. basically, we would have gone through a couple of years where there have been significant challenges to the accounting profession, to the world at large. And the conference this year is going to touch on, you know what, how do we take stock? reset and see how best we could take the lessons learned from the pandemic and make it into a success story sounds good after all just about every sector of the world is going to need some sort of accounting and so that's very very necessary <laughs> that's very necessary i imagine that the pandemic would change how this sort of uh, conference is going to take place so we are looking okay. at a virtual conference yes Yes, it's a virtual conference. All the information is on the ICAT website. And once you register, you will get um, a link to an app that we're using for the conference this year called Hover. It's very interactive. You can chat with each other. You can see all the events. You can ask your questions. It's so interactive. I think it's one of the things that we were most excited about for the conference this year, being able to still interact, even though it's virtual. Right. Now, as far as conferences in the past has gone, what sort of details would they have entailed and how does it differ this year, content-wise? Well, this year, this year it's, it's really about providing food, not just for the mind, but for the body and the soul. So we have quite a few wide-ranging different topics. Our agenda includes digitalization and banking and you know digitalization is, is a real hot topic right now absolutely we have a business round table where we will have panel panel discussions on lessons learned from the pandemic and it will include entrepreneurs accountants people in finance i mean the different perspective on this panel is amazing nice. we're gonna look and talk about private sector pensions and how that's evolving as well as we have, you know, of course, we must consider our technical topics. So we have topics around differences in quality management. Um, and we have as well cybersecurity topic. And how does that look post the pandemic? And I think, again, that wide range of topics gives us a broad spectrum of people that we can target to. Absolutely. From cyber security to pensions and digitization. <laughs> it sounds like your panel is also going to be very diverse as well. Can you tell us yes, some of your we panelists? Have, yes, we have a lot of different types of panelists. We have our Senator, the Honorable Hazel Bikas, Minister of Digital Transformation, who will be delivering an address on digitalization, but from the perspective of resetting the national priorities. We have the Honorable Brian Manning, MP, Minister in the Ministry of Finance, who are presenting on the Trinidad and Tobago Revenue Authority and taxation going forward. We have Patrick Solomon, Inspector of Financial Institutions, and Naveen Lala, Manager of Pensions and Intermediaries of Central Bank, who will speak about resetting private sector pensions. We have Dr. Terence Farrell, who will be closing with an address on what really matters, money, fame, or integrity, the burning question. Mm. And he will be exploring current issues where integrity and ethical conduct are central. Facebook, the vaccine rollout in developing countries, mandatory vaccination, matters of institutional process, and things like that. As it helps us to prepare for dealing with such decision-making matters. And we also have the former Minister of Finance and the NGC Chairman, Conrad Enel, who is confirmed to speak as well. Some incredible experts there so that you know the information you're getting is sound. But that also kind of makes you wonder whether or not we're looking at professionals only being interested in this sort of endeavor, or would it be somebody fresh out of secondary school looking into getting into the accounting profession altogether? Who is your target audience oh, on a, this one? It's a mixture. It's accountants, auditors, persons in tax, persons in banking, insurance, and financial professionals. Really anyone with an interest in the finance industry. Sounds good. And how do they become part of this conference? 
Well, again, you go to the website, you register, you basically also pick which sessions you'd like to attend to. We acknowledge that different persons may be interested in different things. Right. So there's an option to choose which ones you want to attend. And once you register, you get this link to the Hover app and then it begins there. I mean, people are interacting already and the conference hasn't even begun. Nice. So it's just more of a conference. It's also a networking opportunity. Right. So I think it's very key that people register early, build that network, and come prepared to the conference to have a good time to learn and to really be able to go back and impact your, not only your organization, but society at large. Nice. Now, I must ask, in terms of cost, is there a cost to attend the conference or to be a part thereof? Again, it's tailored to everybody's need. Do you want to come one day? Do you want to come two days? Do you want to come to some sessions? So the different cost structure is depending on what you want to do and your availability. We are very fully aware that persons may not have the time to spend two entire days in a conference. <laughs> but again, the option is there for you to select and it will be matched. The price will be matched to whatever your need is. Uh, well, it does sound like a lot of valuable information for that two days. So I'm pretty sure you're going to have persons coming in on, and again, that is the 18th and 19th of November, yes? 18th and 19th of November, virtual, come and reset with us. <laughs> I love it. Now, as far as the actual conference goes, were there any sorts of partnerships to make this possible? Because you have a wealth of panelists and speakers who must be coming from some library spaces. Of course. So we have Titanium sponsored the Scalot and NGC. Platinum sponsors include the CGMA, EOG Resources, Massey, and PWC. Gold sponsors include BDO, Deloitte, Winston Young, Grant Thornton, KPMG, more online technologies and profex as well as pkf silvers includes av Knowles, baker tilly fcb and a major contributor is the central bank beautiful now as much as you've given us so many details i am not even in accounting and i'm excited about the conference because the opportunity to reset and as you say take lessons learned in the pandemic into a new frontier sounds fantastic but what is it that you hope that persons looking on would take from the conference? Why exactly should they attend? Well, it's a lot of opportunities to, again, network, which is connect with your peers, meet new friends, exchange information, learn from each other. What may impact me may impact you differently, but it's good to share information. I mean, one of the key things we want to also ensure is that people keep abreast of finance and accounting issues because we do still have to take our technical knowledge and apply it in the real world. Professional development, it boosts your confidence and your work skills, and it enhances your soft skills as well because we not only focus on technical areas, but again, soft skills, interpersonal skills to help your career and your professional development. And of course, for accountants, you earn relevant CPD credits. Mm. We need to have a minimum of those for the year. Mm -hmm. And you will earn 13 credits over two days. Oh, wow. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to take notes tell all my accounting friends to tell a friend and remind us of the website so that people can get registered early. And as you said, start networking and get those credits. www.icat.org. <laughs> Lovely. Now, I know everybody's on social media. The iCat is on social as well. Can we find you all on it's Facebook and Instagram? Everywhere. We're everywhere. So you just jump on board. You choose your medium and you just register and attend. And let's have that fantastic networking opportunity and get those CPD credits. Sounds beautiful. Ladies and gentlemen, that is Ms. Marissa Kwashi, the Vice Chair, Member and Students Committee for ICAR, joining us this morning to tell us how they are getting ready to reset on November 18th and 19th, virtually, of course, to make sure that they take the lessons of this year and the pandemic into the future. Thank you so much for joining us this morning, Ms. Kwashi.